So without further delay, I'd now like to welcome the Chief Commissioner, Michelle McLean, for her presentation. Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you, Bronwyn, for the introduction. It's great once again to see so many building surveyors, students, cadets, support staff attending this year's Building Surveyors Conference. I know the team at BBA have worked hard in recent months to develop this year's conference agenda and certainly features plenty of interesting and important topics. This afternoon, my presentation will focus on the role of VBA as a regulator and the VBA's new strategic plan known as Vision 27. I'm delighted to share the details of Vision 27 with you all. Vision 27 is the VBA's blueprint for the next five years and building surveyors form a significant part of the strategy. But first, I would like to begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which we're all gathered. I want to pay my respects to elders, both past, present, and the elders from other communities who may be here with us today. To the VBA commissioners, CEO Sue Eddy, the State Building Surveyor, Andrew Cellini, and senior staff, thank you for bringing us together today and tomorrow, developing this great agenda for all in attendance. Victoria's building and plumbing industries continue to grow, and with that growth comes more opportunity and a greater need for building surveyors. As Minister Wynne mentioned, it's pleasing to see the Victorian government committed to helping people forge a career in building surveying, and in particular, encouraging more women to join the industry. With key regulatory form projects afoot, the VBA's role in the building system continues to be an important one. I will now briefly discuss the VBA's role as the regulator of Victoria's building and plumbing industries. As Victoria's chief building and plumbing regulator, the VBA ensures the achievement of efficient, competitive building and plumbing industries in Victoria. While we have a regulatory framework which sits at the heart of what we do, the framework alone will not deliver the outcomes we seek. The performance of a regulatory regime hinges on four key aspects, which will, I will discuss on the next slide. The VBA outcomes-focused, risk-based approach to regulation helps to ensure that when we regulate, we are focusing on delivering our intended regulatory outcomes. The VBA Chief Risk Officer, Todd Bentley, will present on this topic during a session on day two of the conference. As a regulator, the VBA is responsible for ensuring our policies, procedures and practices are strategic, effective and relevant to the regulatory framework. Linked to this is our funding, with adequate funds required to resource the VBA, including our various regulatory activities. Without this, our ability to operate effectively is diminished. Other Victorian government entities help the VBA achieve its regulatory objectives, including the Victorian Managed Insurance Authority, Domestic Building Dispute Resolution Victoria, and of course, the Department of Environment, Land, Water and Planning. While the VBA's control over the content of the regulatory framework, available funds to regulate, performance of practitioners and the role of partner entities varies, we can and do enhance performance of the regulatory system as a whole through the activities we undertake. Crucial to the success of this is the VBA recently launched 2022-27 strategic plan known as Vision 27. I'm excited now to share with you the broad details of this strategy. <clears throat> With popula Victoria's population projected to increase by an additional 3 million people in the next 30 years, there will be more demand for housing, public amenities and infrastructure. Recent years has also challenged how we plan and create our built environments of the future, particularly our homes and workspaces. Transformational reforms are underway in Victoria's building system that take into account these new expectations. The expert panel's comprehensive review of the building system is anticipated to change the way the system is regulated, how industry and practitioners operate and are held accountable. I know Anna Cronin, Chair of Expert Panel, Commissioner for Better Regulation and Commissioner for Red Tape will have a lot more to say about this in her keynote address. 
This important topic will also be discussed by a panel later this session. The expert panel's review is anticipated to be the biggest reform to the Building Act in decades and presents the VBA with a once-in-a-generation opportunity to shape Victoria's building system and our role in it. VBA commissioners are committed to ensuring the governance and strategic direction of the VBA is sound and fit for today and the years to come. This ensures the VBA is best positioned to be an effective regulator. I would like to now share with you an overview of Vision 27. To complement the change in the building industry, community expectations and future growth, the VBA has recently embarked on outlining its new strategic plan. To safeguard Victoria's future, the VBA has developed a bold and exciting strategic plan that outlines our future direction. Directly linked to our vision are three key outcomes and five pillars. Together, these guide our strategic focus for the next five years and form Vision 27. These five pillars provide a steady anchor for the VBA to navigate the complexity in the building system and confidently move forward with positive impact. I will briefly discuss what each of these pillars mean and why they're important, particularly to building surveyors. The first pillar is a trusted regulator. As a proactive regulator, we are committed to delivering positive outcomes for Victorians. Our starting point is that individuals want to do the right thing and our enforcement is targeted and proportionate. The independent oversight of buildings and building work that building surveyors provide during the construction process ensure buildings are safe, accessible and energy efficient. As such, building surveyors are a crucial cog in our regulatory system. The second pillar is knowledge organisation. This pillar encapsulates that VBA is a data-driven evidence and intelligent-led organisation. We create, share knowledge and learn from others to continuously improve our work. This data, evidence and intelligence helps inform practitioners, including builder surveyors, on the latest industry trends and information. This includes the VBA's proactive inspection program reports, the upcoming compliance and enforcement report, and our building audit reports. The third pillar is a strength-based workplace. Our people are the foundations of our culture and have a positive impact on Victorian communities. Many of you will have engaged with the VBA technical advisor or inspector in your work and the mutual respect and professionalism between our people and building surveyors is crucial to each of our roles. The fourth pillar is a forward thinking business. The VBA is looking to the future and ensuring we are sustainable and adaptable. We do this by not only improving our own processes, but supporting industry to help transform how the building industry can be more sustainable, accessible and inclusive. There has been and will be a number of key projects rolled out by the VBA that will make it easier for building surveyors to engage with the VBA. One of these is the recently implemented online registration application portal for building surveyors and building inspectors, which replaces paper-based applications. I know Sue and Andrew will have more to say about this. It's just one example of how we are modernising our administrative processes. And the final pillar, an effective connector. The VBA is uniquely positioned in Victoria's building industry with expertise to engage consumers, government, other regulators and industry. Building surveyors and the VBA have a key role to play in the building ecosystem and we both work towards making positive impacts for the Victorian community. Building surveyors are at the forefront of the building industry and as each of you will know, play a significant role in the construction of a safe built environment in Victoria. The VBA is committed to demonstrating its future focused, it's committed to continuously improving and adapting to the changes at hand and ahead of us to safeguard Victoria's future. Thank you for attending the Victorian Building Authority's 2022 Building Surveyors Conference and I hope you 
and each will come away from this two-day event with some key learnings and a renewed appetite to continue the great work that you do. Thank you.